Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the Devil May Cry miniature game, The Bloody Palace. And today, by popular demand, won by a landslide at the end of Dante's solo attempt at it last time, we are going to be playing as Trish because we freed her from the, the boss that we fought last time as well. Not going to spoil Dante's final score, but we have that in Nero done so far. She does also have a Devil Trigger form, although hers isn't nearly as bombastic as Dante's. It's just an alternative sculpt, more or less, because she uses the Sword of Sparta, regardless of whether or not she's in Devil Trigger form. But she does get a new attack deck and uh, new cards to draw if she activates it, and activates in the exact same way as Dante's. You build up combos. I think her combos need to be one higher than Dante's. Like, here's the criteria for her Devil Trigger. I think Dante started at three, right? Might be misremembering. But as long as she does at least a 4 combo, you get 1 space on the Devil Trigger gauge. 10 plus will be 3, 7 to 9 is 2. And if you take damage, it goes down a tier. And if you die, it resets. And then you flip it over and do the commands when you activate it. She's got 5 HP. Uh, sorry, 5 movement and 7 HP. That's very different. And already built up a deck of... Well, for a solo play, so it's a starting one player level, a level one level, a level two level, and then a boss. I'm not sure how she's focused, I haven't really looked at her deck, so we'll just discover it as we go. She has four basic attacks that you can see some of over here. She has rapid shots, low kick, high kick, and overdrive in her base attacks that she can get every turn. And yeah, I think that about covers it, so without further ado, we know the score to beat. Let's see what our first combat is. It is for Red Mbusa. So we're set up. Here's the Red Mbusa card, just in case you're not familiar. They drop three red orbs and have seven HP. And you just draw one AI card for all of them when they get their turn. We also need to draw two achievement cards. The challenging ones are removed until such time as you're told to add them, as are the harder to get ones that are related to a boss. Kill Stealer, claim this if you're going to interrupt another player's turn. Won't be scoring that. Defensive, claim this if you dodge at least four damage from an enemy attack. Doable at some point, not necessarily right now, but that's okay. And we'll put the achievement cards to the side for now, and we'll draw our starting hand. One, two, three, four, five. There we are. And we can see what Trish can do. Let's see what we have. 100 kicks is a finisher on a blue chain. Axe kick, an interrupt, which doesn't do anything, so we'll save that for defense. Uppercut and an axe kick. Okay, we'll be doing a blue combo then. Is there a way I can get two of them together? Hmm. Her rapid shots deal one damage to every enemy adjacent to her, incidentally. We definitely want to do a blue combo. She has a lot of kickback and follow-up. So we could potentially do something with that. Let's do our normal move and go one, two, three, four. More than enough to get this Impusa, red Impusa, in her front arc. And then we'll start with a we'll do a low kick I want to try and make sure this is in view if we put it here so that's a low kick one damage plus a push and a follow up so we'll do that then we'll do a high kick which is also one damage with a push and a follow up so that's two damage in total and then let's see we want more pushback we want more and more pushback Okay, we'll, we'll do X kick, which will do two damage, plus push back and follow up. And then, so how much damage is that? That's four damage to him so far. Then we'll do another X kick for two more damage. Now I'm not sure how knockback works if there's an enemy in the way. I'm hoping it works in such that you can shove to an opposing square. If that's wrong, I apologise, I don't know offhand. But then we're going to do a follow up and face the other way. So that's six damage to the other Impusa. We'll throw in a rapid shot. That's one damage to every adjacent enemy. So that Impusa has had seven damage and gets splatted. Two red orbs into the bank. One gets left on the field. The combo, is, she is really good at comboing, assuming you draw a bunch of yellow cards. Uh, well, blue cards, sorry. Uppercut for two damage to this Impusa plus a stun. So we'll throw the stun in there. I've never done a combo this long, I think. And then, yeah, she'll finish it with 100 kicks. Why not? You must claim your combo after playing this card when you do score double the style points. So that is three damage 
plus a knockback, plus a stun, although he's already stunned, so it's irrelevant. So that brings him to 5 damage. 5 damage, plus he's stunned, so he isn't activating. We have Interrupt, which can block 1 damage if we get attacked, which we might. And that is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 combo. That is 4 points normally, but because of the finisher, it gets doubled to 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I know you can't see the lower bar, you just have to trust me. She is obviously on 8, because she had a score of 0 before. And she moves up 1 on the... Oh wait, for a combo of 8, she moves up 2 on the Devil Trigger gauge. Okay, I think Trish's thing might be combos. So we know the closest Impusa isn't getting a turn, but the others are. Let's draw a card. Each red Impusa that is adjacent to the Hunter turns to face them and it makes this attack move each other one two hexes towards the nearest. So that would be one, two towards Trish and one, two straight ahead towards her. And then they do nothing else. We're going to get rid of Interrupt and draw a new hand of five cards. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Put the big pile back for drawing next turn, and then let's see what we have to play with. Thunder Uppercut is a red chain, a taunt, electrical boost. Discard this card when making an attack to deal two additional damage to one. Uh, wait, two additional damage to one enemy damaged by the attack. Okay, so if you hit an enemy, you do two additional because you boosted it. Roll, discard this card to dodge two damage and move two hexes. Okay. V Divider. Deal 1 damage to each enemy within 3 hexes of the target, then move each enemy damaged by this hex 1 towards the target. That's really good. Okay. Well, we want to kill the Impusa in front of us that has 2 damage left, but we're not adjacent to it. And unfortunately, V Divider isn't enough. Well, actually, he, that's the closest target, and V Divider does 2 damage, but it just it also additionally deals 1 damage to en each enemy within 3 hexes of the target. Now, that's obviously none of them, but that would kill him. So I think that's okay. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So we'll start our combo with V Divider. It shoots him for 2 kills him, because he had 5 and you have 7 HP, he'll leave behind one there, those will disappear, and then two get collected, and then she'll move her 5, uh, 6 sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, she picked up that orb on the way, and then she might as well open with a rapid shots for 1 damage, and there's no other enemy adjacent, but that's fine. In fact, she could electrical boost that. She'll electrical boost it to make it 3 damage. I guess I should have put that below it so you can see it better. So that's actually 3 damage to uh, the Impusa in front of her. Then she will overdrive it for 2 damage, bringing it to 4 damage in total, and then she'll thunder uppercut to finish it off. Move up to 1 hex. Before making this attack, you must claim your combo. So it's before making it, so not after. I would have stunned regardless. But that's 4 damage, 5, 6, 7 from the rapid shots, even if you don't count the electrical boost. So actually the electrical boost, using that up like that, was a bit of a waste. But that's okay. She iced that Impusa. I'm running out of red orbs already. So 1 is there. 2 is picked up. And let's see, so that's just a 1, 2, 3, 4. I presume you don't count the electrical boost as part of the combo, so that's just a 4 combo. So that's 1 point, putting her on 9, and 1 more bar on the Devil Trigger gauge. And we'll just go straight to the Impusa's turn. Adjacent to Hunter turns and faces, if not moves 2 towards. 1, 2. That was very lucky in terms of draw. Alright, need to tidy these away and draw a new hand. So I think Trish is going to find this first fight pretty easy. Because she can just focus them down with massive combos. Speaking of which, wow. So we just want to try and get a combo as high as possible to make sure we have the Devil Trigger ready for the level 1 encounter. So we want to kill the Impusa, but we don't want to kill it too quickly. So we'll do our move and walk onto that orb just to pick it up. Because why not? And then... Rapid shots for 1 damage, 
and then uh, move the target and all enemies adjacent one hex towards you. That's what was already adjacent. Round trip, rapid shots, three damage, and then again we don't want to do too much damage. We'll just do a lightning. Well, actually, you might as well do an overdrive. That's three, four, five. Ah, oh, we can't. I don't have a chain ender either, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll just throw in one of the lightning kicks, and that's two, four, six, seven. It's been splatted. Kind of unfortunately, because there's a chance, well, it doesn't matter. The only orbs that matter are the ones she's going to pick up. I'll just use the one on the table, because everything else gets discarded. And that was a five piece combo for two points without a finisher, sadly, putting her at 11. And she has her devil trigger ready. It's maxed out. So that'll be good because we're moving on to the level one encounter, which I guess I'll draw before we do anything else. That was, that was very quick. She didn't need to defend, so yeah, those achievements are just going to stay. The level one encounter is a fury and a pyro bat. I don't think we've fought a fury yet. The pyro bats are the lesser bats aren't as annoying. As per usual, I almost forgot the shopping step to spend all the orbs. We also have to draw two new achievements, so before I go over my purchases, let's quickly do that. Claim this if you deal five or more damage with a single attack. So that's not a single combo, a single attack. Saviour, claim this if you slay another enemy that's in another hunter's front arc. Again, not possible to be done, unfortunately. I'm going to draw another one, because that's just not fair, it's not done. Six cards combo, that's doable. And we'll get rid of the kill stealer one as well. We're not going to replace it, we'll just get rid of it because it's obviously you can't <laughs> you can't score that one if you're playing solo. So with the purchases, purchased Inazuma for four, which is just a two damage, but it can be linked to any chain, and you can move two hexes passing through enemies before you initiate. Charge shots, just a three damage range attack for two. Devil Heart, so her devil trigger gauge increases by two, and that costs two. She can still activate it immediately, it's just if I hold off at the start of this next fight, could get longer turns. And just because blue combos seem to work really well for her, spent two on another uppercut because that's just another blue combo that you can keep it going, because I, I think her thing is long combos. So here's how things are looking with the enemy spawn. The riot appeared right next, sorry, the fury? Fury, sorry, riot is the base one. Fury spawned right next to her, and that's the assassin type. I don't look forward to this at all. Pyro bats are just the weaker bats. We saw one of them last time. They drop one green her orb, not herb. Three red orbs, eight HP. They can move into occupied, uh, through occupied hexes. When they're slain, they explode. Try and remember that this time. And then the Fury, they drop one green. They have uh, four red, 22 HP. They're not stunned unless it has three stun, sto stun tokens. When it does gain three stun tokens, the current player immediately activates as though they had first player token, although that doesn't matter if you're playing solo. The Fury, then Fury performs the disengage behavior card. So he runs away after he gets stunned. Uh, well, you get a free turn and then he runs away. That's what the disengage would mean. Okay. And we started right next to him. Do we want to activate Devil Trigger? instead of doing a normal draw. I'm curious what her Devil Trigger can do to know whether it's worth buying the Accumulate cards which let you gain more bar. So you know what, let's do it. Let's activate her Devil Trigger and see what happens. So we flip this over because we're activating. Draw your cards from your Devil Trigger deck, not your Hunter deck. Use the basic cards, not your regular ones. Move the Devil Trigger marker down two spaces at the end of your turn. In her Devil Trigger form, she gains one movement, health stays the same. Her basic attacks, just three of them. Also, let's just change the miniature to the one holding the Sword of Sparta. It's just better in general. So these are our three basic attacks. Devil Trigger, V Divider, three damage, score one style point. A reasonably good Sparta slice. And a high time, which does more damage and allows you to move. Yeah, movement and combos are her thing for sure. So those are our three basic, so I'll just I'll move her normal basic ones out of the way now because we're using the Devil Trigger ones. And that means we need to draw from her Devil Trigger deck, which is right here, I've already shuffled, so two, three, four, five. Let's see, I don't expect her form to be as awesome as Dante's just because of the nature of it. Spark. Discard this card during the enemy phase after an enemy behavior card is drawn, but before it's resolved, move up to three hexes passing through occupied hexes. Collider. AoE damage. 
Sparda Swing, also a oh, she likes a wee damage in Devil Trigger form apparently. Okay, we've got a red combo potentiality here. So we're gonna move and we'll go one, two, three, four into his back there, and then we'll get started beating this guy up. We'll start with a divider for three damage, and that also automatically scores one style point, taking us to twelve, which is just as well. We also want to try and get a big combo here. Speaking of which, I'm going to move the combo down here because they're in the way of where I want the combo to be. So we'll start with a divider. We want to go into a red, but actually we can keep it going colorless currently by throwing in this collider. Uh, after making this attack, choose an enemy in front of you. It suffers four damage. Oh, so that's two damage base, which takes it to five. And then it just does four damage, huh? That's interesting. I, I should read that text more closely. So that is pretty good, okay. And then we want to try and burst into a red combo. So we'll do that with a Sparta Slice. Boom. That's three more damage. Like that. And then, oh, you're going to have a bad time. That, that does involve a pushback and a follow-up, which I guess we'll do. A pushback and a follow-up. No stun on that one, though. And then... We'll do a Sparta Thrust, which does do a stun, and 4 damage, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If we take away the 3s, we'll just put a 10 in, and that's good to go. That's 15, 16 damage. We're getting there. Are we going to kill this in one turn? There's 6 more damage I could do here. We totally are. Uh, we want to try and make the combo as big as possible, though. 16... It's got six health left. We can exactly kill it, in fact. We'll do Sparta Swing. Sparta Swing for a total of six damage. You're supposed to move it twice each time and follow up, so we'll do that and follow up. Each one of those last two scored a style point, so 13, 14. No finisher, but still pretty good. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six on the combo for three points. One, two, three, that's uh, 17. He's dead, so we don't even get to see what he does now. He dropped one green and four red. And he occupied three spaces, so at least one has to be put on every space he occupied. So she automatically picks up one red. And is there anything else we're forgetting? Yes, Devil Trigger Gauge comes down by two. Turns out her Devil Trigger is actually pretty good, and we're also banking one card for... Well, actually, you could you could use it to step five spaces. No, because the Pyrobats want to want to be as far away from you as possible. No, we'll bank that. Oh, and that does also mean uh, we didn't do more than five damage with one attack, sadly. Although, hang on, that's part of Thrust. Move up to one Hex before making this attack. If there's an enemy in the Hex that is adjacent to it and behind the target... Oh. If there's a, a target behind it, we would have hit that as well. That doesn't matter. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We claimed Stylish Fighter, finally. And that's it. At least we, che we claimed something. So we're not going to get to see what the Fury does, because it is dead as a raw nail, but we are going to draw a AI card for the Pyrobat. Move it two away from the nearest Hunter, and then make this attack. So it's hiding all the way in the corner, so I might need to move the camera in a second here. And it's shooting for two. Trish is going to dodge for one, and she'll take one damage from the attack. Alright, rather than move the camera, just going to try and kill this thing in one turn. It's only got 8 HP. A Devil Trigger form should be able to handle this. Let's see, we've got Sparta Thrust, Cut, in, oh, uh, in Azuma, but it's the Devil Trigger version. Aerial Rave. And another, okay, well, it's definitely going to die. So for movement, she's got six movement. We want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. That would still have her two away. Do we have a thrust? We do have a thrust. That's only one hex. So we're going to have to ignore one of the red orbs. Otherwise, we can't get close enough. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. We picked up those. So that means she's healed as well. Get rid of that. She's one away, so that does mean we're going to have to start with a... If we want a red combo, we're going to have to ignore starting with a yellow combo. Uh, but that's okay, because we can still start with a divider. And do that for three damage. 
and one style point, putting us up to 18, I think. Yep, and then we can do a Sparta Thrust, which does four damage, and she can move one hex, which puts her right up in his business. I want her front arc facing him. I know you can't quite see, but trust me, it's going to die. So that's four, five, six, seven damage already. It's got one HP left. Oh, we're going to kill it too quickly. All right, just do it in style then. Sparta cut, boom, it's dead. That automatically scores one style point, the Sparta cut, putting her at 19. It's a three combo, so sadly that doesn't score anything for her. And she also turns back into normal form, but that is the fight over. And from the Pyrobat dying, she will pick up two red orbs. So for the shopping step, she only had four orbs to spend, so that's a little bad. That's the downside to doing a fight as quickly as that, I guess. But two accumulates, now that we know our Devil Trigger is pretty good for one each. Bought a Rolling Thunder for one, just to carry on red combos. And bought a Hook for like a frontal arc attack with no stun or anything for one as well. And with that, let's reach over and draw our level 2 combat and see what we're getting. Ooh, lots of enemies. Five Red Impusa, so they're back. And then two Hell and Tenora, which are the people with the scythes. So I've moved the camera a little bit to the side so you can see where Trish is because she, she doesn't move position between floors, they just spawn in. Also I was wrong, it isn't the guys with the scythes, it is the large lads with the butcher knives. They drop one green, four red, have 12 HP and they can't be stunned unless they have two stun markers. So quite a few enemies to deal with. I uh, also need to draw achievement cards for this floor and you re-add the challenging cards back in and then draw three. So we're going to do that right now. Crack shot. Demon Slayer, well that doesn't happen until after this floor, but whatever. Crowd controller, claim this if you hit at least four different enemies with melee attacks. Claim this if you hit at least four different enemies with ranged attacks. Well, Trish could maybe do that, pardon me, depending on if they link together. Demon Slayer has to be in effect for the boss anyway, so I won't bother drawing another one for that. She does seem very good at killing, it's just that she's You've got to do the big combos, otherwise she kills too quickly and you score too little. But hey, let's get started then. One, two, three, four, oh, four, five, yes. That's five cards. One, two, three. Okay, I have shuffled these, but we definitely have a blue combo potentiality. Discard this card to dodge two damage and move two hexes. Okay, so we have a defensive card as well. We also have her basic move. And I just want to think about where I want to move people. Because if she comes in round here, well, if she goes behind that Hell Antonara, she could push it into them and then deal damage to both. It's not going to be a huge amount of damage, but it is going to be quite a lot. Well, I will kill the, the, the small fry. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, she can totally get behind it. Hmm. And then she pushes and follows up. Pushes gets in there. Oh, that's that's promising. That's actually potentially really, really good. Okay, yeah, let's try this. I know it's at the corner of the screen, but she's just going to go one, two, three, four, five. More than enough movement to get right in behind, but don't worry, she's about to shove him. Now, what's the best shove she's got? Well, we shall start with a low kick. Uh, where am I going to put this combo? Here, I guess, we'll just have to be careful. So, low kick, pushes him, follows up, one damage. Good. Then, we want to follow that up with a high kick from our basic attacks. So, that is another one damage, and another push, and another follow up. This is going to be hard to track, but it'll be worth it. So, she's done two damage to the Hell Antonora. She shall then do Rapid Shots, which does one damage to the target and one damage to each adjacent person to the target. So that's him up to three and then each of those Antonora have one. Like so. Uh, and then... Well then the awkward thing is we don't want to push him, is the thing. So we'll do a Hook next. So that's in that arc. So. It goes up to 5 damage on him, because he takes 2. The Antonara on this side takes 2, so he's up to 3 damage. And then this one takes 1, so he's up to 2 damage. 
Following along so far? Good, because I'm not. Then we're going to uppercut. I'm going to have to use a second line here. We're going to do an uppercut because we don't want the Antonora to move. And that puts him at 7 damage. Because it does 2 more. 5, 6, 7. We don't want him to move yet, is the key thing. Then we're going to do a rush. Move up to 2 hexes before making this attack. We're not going to move. But that also has a push, unfortunately. A push and a follow up. A uh, follow up is optional as far as I'm aware, so that's another 3 damage. So that's 10 to the Hell Antonora, but he gets shoved. And then. Oof. It's going to be 3 damage to this little guy. I, I, actually, presumably it shoves all the targets, not just the main target, I just realised. And then that's still 1 more damage to this gen over here. So, they both get shoved one away as well, presumably. Is there anything else we can do? Uh, he's got 2 HP left. I can't do the 2 HP annoyingly. I can do 1. Uh, I don't think there's any way for me not to... He only got 1 stun as well, so there's no point keeping track of it because... He uh, needs two to be stunned, and I can't initiate another stun on him. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Well, she's still going to play a rush, and she gets to move two hexes before initiating it. But who is she going to do it on? It's only one damage, and she can no longer hit all of them. So I guess she'll move one, two, and hit him for another one, putting him at four, plus a shove to knock him over there and she'll hold on to the roll for defense. So she's did a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 card combo, but she only hit 3 enemies, so she couldn't get crowd controller unfortunately. She didn't deal more than 5 damage in a single attack, she didn't hit at least 4 however... Uh, no she can't get that one either. If she dodges 4 damage somehow, then she would be able to claim that, but no she can't claim any of the achievements, but with a 7 combo, that is 4 points, 1, 2, 3, 4, which puts her on 23, and her Devil Trigger Gauge for a 7 combo goes up 2, which is pretty good, although I think she's going to get hit, unfortunately. Uh, let me move these cards out of the way safely before we do the AI. Alright, the Red and Pusa all just act on the one AI card, so let's handle them first. Move each Red and Pusa 3 hexes towards the nearest Hunter, then shuffle this back into the deck, which I will do. So he just turns around and is like, sup? He just attacked me, that's rude. One, two, three. He's also in there with four damage on him. And then one, two, three. They're swarming. One, two, three. One, two, three. Dead ahead. Okay. Now, uh, we'll do the one that's wounded first. Move two X's towards the nearest hunter and then make this attack. Now, that's awkward because he's not going to be get, able to get close enough. Closest he can get is there. And presumably he doesn't just wildly swing at his own teammates. That would have been very damaging, so I'm glad they didn't do it. Good, okay, and then the other one, at the far back there. Hack and slash, move it two towards the nearest hunter. Then Okay, so he's just going to go boop boop towards him. And then we're at the start of another turn. I discarded the roll card, so we are drawing three, four, five. And then let's see what we have. We have a taunt. Lightning Kick, Roundhouse Kick, Accumulate. Well, we'll immediately play the Accumulate and discard it so we get two Devil Trigger engages. That's her at her max if we hadn't bought the upgrade, but because we did, we've got two more spaces. And then, we don't have as much to play with this turn. They've both got four damage, so that means they have three health left. Okay. Well, we might as well start our combo then with Wild Shots. So it's one damage, one damage, puts them both at five, which I have no other five icons handy, so we'll just have to use these. So they've each got two health left, and she's facing the one on the left. And that's important, because she can actually just kill them if we skip a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. So there's a lightning roundhouse, it hits her front arc and her right arc, so that is both of them, and it hits them for two each. So that kills them both, because they have 7 HP. So they both go splat splat. Oops, almost dropped one of the miniatures. 
and they drop three orbs each so she picks up four two left behind we go there there get all these damage markers out of the way as well the combo isn't done yet she can still move as well there's only so much you can do though she can do potentially four more damage with some movement yeah okay we might as well we'll play the Inazuma so she can move two hexes before initiating one two and she does two damage and it also stuns so this Impusa will not be getting a turn and then she'll initiate a lightning kick for two damage she can move one hex before activating that so she'll move there and then that's kicking him in the face for another two damage putting him at four in total so I'll just exchange those damage icons he's still stunned so this Impusa will not be acting and that means she's banking the taunt card to potentially defend it also means she did a combo of four so that's one putting her on 24 and a combo of four will give her one on the devil trigger gauge so that's one of the bonus slots filled and yeah I don't think there's anything else to do she could technically discard the taunt at the end of her turn to to shift three because it only blocks one to get right in the corner I mean so they'll probably not be able to attack her yeah let's do that we'll discard so we can shunt ourselves the only one that would be able, hopefully able to reach is him and he's not getting a turn because he's stunned so yeah we'll discard that as well and we'll see how it goes these all get discarded and let's just immediately see let's just draw the red and push this card move each three hexes towards the nearest hunter then make this attack skipping a turn one two three so sadly he has indeed made it to her one, two, three, he has not. But he is initiated, and that's the front arc. Uh, two damage, so she drops down. One, two. Uh, no, no, sorry, it's only one. Lower the devil trigger gauge by one each time Trish suffers one or more damage. Okay, so that is that, and then she takes two damage. There's no means, oh, actually no, there is a means by which to heal. One of the big guys has to die. The other one didn't reach. We'll start with the, the closest Antonora. Move three and then make this attack. One, two, three, and then you have to shuffle the deck and put this card back in apparently. Uh, I'm going to do that after I draw for the other one. Move four towards the nearest hunter. One, two, three, four. Oh boy, he is coming to get you. And we're getting into a mess here at the base of the screen. We need good combos, which is apparently your thing, Trish. So let's see what you got. Blue electrical boost, rapid shot, slightly kick, collider. Deal one damage to each enemy adjacent to the target. Okay, okay. Uh, now how do we want to start this? Do we have anything that shunts us one square? We do, a lightning kick. But that's a red combo. Okay, okay. We can work with this. So let's start with an overdrive do the combo up here so an overdrive two damage to front target and that's it but that's fine and then we'll play a lightning kick which lets us do two damage and then move for one before making the attack so we'll move before making the attack we want our front arc to face him so we've done I've run out of damage icons we've done two damage to this one but we'll just have to try and remember Trish has two damage on her. I'm going to move that one there for now. We'll just move that one away. Trish has two damage on her. Don't let me forget. Because then with all the enemies around us, we're going to rapid shots. So it's one damage plus one to everyone adjacent. Well, there you go. Because that makes that three. That makes that three. So we can go back to Trish being damaged. This one had four. So that's up to uh, five damage. I don't have any other five icons either. Uh, we'll just put another one on him for now. Five, because she isn't done. She's then going to do rapid shots again. So that's one damage to everybody else. And actually she's going to do a, a collider as well, which is also every adjacent person. So that's two more damage to everybody. So he's at five, six, seven. He is dead. He is up to five. So we'll just bring this two over here and he's also at five and these go away 
So that's a good combo. And we're still on... we're on red. And she hasn't moved yet. That's important. Because she's probably going to run away. Oh, you know what she could have done with that last collider? She could have made it too stronger, but it's... It's against the front target. Like, the one damage gets done to the front target, then it's one to adjacent targets. So actually, it will make that, that one of the ones did three instead, deal two additional damage. Because that means he is at seven as well, and he died too. So we need red orb, red orb. Unfortunately, we don't drop any green ones. I need more red orbs. There. But now she really needs to run away. Now she hasn't moved, as said, so she's got movement of six. So she's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And she picked up two orbs on the way. Because her next target is the one that can heal her when it dies. It's only got two health left. And she'll also discard this to shunt to shift rather two. So her hand is empty, but hopefully she's far enough away that nobody's gonna hit her. She still has two damage on her, of course, not forgetting. And she banked a combo, sorry, of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 2, putting her at 26. And she's back up one more square on her Devil Trigger, so she's one away from the new max. Alright, let's start with the Red Impusa. And uh, move 2 towards adjacent Hunter, or closest Hunter rather, so Waddle Waddle with his 5 damage. Just put that there. Simple enough, and then that Impusa, the one that's, uh, sorry, Antonora rather, the one that's wounded, two, and then he's not going to be able to attack, one, two, he's just going to chase after Trish with the ten damage he's got on him, he's our walking heal bank, and then the other one, move three, and then draw another card, uh oh, one, two, three, and then face there, and then draw another card, move two and attack, ah, that's bad, one, two, she can't do anything to avoid it, that is three damage on her right there. She's going to drop another level of the Devil Trigger Gauge again. So she's back to her usual max prior to buying the upgrade. And it's on to her turn. Alright, we need to make sure she gets healed this turn. One, two, three, four, five. Although the heals only heal three, which is bad. Round trip, charge shots, thunder uppercut. We've got a combo finisher. Okay, we've got lots of guns. Uh, move the target and all enemies adjacent to it to one hex towards you. Deal one damage to each enemy within three hexes of the target, then move each damaged enemy to one hex towards the target. Hmm, she just needs to do two damage to this lower guy to kill him, but it's, it's like you've got to plan ahead after that so that she can keep comboing. So if she gets in there with a low kick, she can put them adjacent to each other. She can follow that up. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. We'll have to maybe hold on to Thunder Uppercut and go for a blue combo. So she is going to have to move, and she's going to move like four, just to get next to this gentleman here, because she needs to kill him. And then she's going to start with a low kick, which is a push back and follow up for one damage. She's got one health left. She is then going to do... Hmm, what is she going to do after that? She's going to do a high kick. Low kick, high kick, name a more classic combo. He gets shoved there, she follows, he dies. The green orb is going to land on her and heal three of her damage. So she has got two left. It's unfortunate she would have been back at full, she hadn't died just there. Um, let's see, so two orbs are going to have to be right there, but she's probably about to move on to them anyway, so it doesn't matter. And one orb gained. So, next, she needs to move one more target, uh, one more step rather. Uh, the Impusa in front of her has what, three, four, five? It's only got two health left. She might as well just bank for like a defense turn because she's not going to get a combo here, I think. Well, she can get up to a four combo, which is one point, I, I, I guess. Yeah, okay, so we'll just do a round trip. It actually pulls enemy. Oh, someone else asked again, like, did you ever work out what you do if you move an enemy onto a square with red orbs? The, like, the 3D red orbs are just, like, an added bonus. They're supposed to be flat icons, so I presume they're just supposed to stand on them, but he's about to get splatted anyway with a rapid shots. So he's dead regardless. So 
So there's now three red orbs in this square, but she's about to walk onto them anyway. And she picked up two. Two more, more than she's going to need. And then, well, her combo's over, and she's already moved. So actually, she's, how much defense has she got? She can get up to six, seven, she can get up to eight defense. So she's just going to sit there on her two damage. She banked a combo four for a measly one point, putting her at 27. You'll almost be able to see her down here soon. And a four combo is enough to get her devil trigger gauge up one more. Um, I'll clean that up in a second. Let's just immediately see what the last enemy does. Two towards the hunter and then do this. One, two. Well, let's move him there actually. Same distance away, just so you can see him a bit better. So he's not doing anything. And then it's back around to Trish. It just occurred to me I forgot the pyro bat exploded when it died and I don't remember if Trish was next to it. That's way back in like the second fight, first fight maybe. I totally forgot, even after saying it. Oh well. Rapid shot, strategize, axe kick, accumulate, electrical boost. Not a good turn for killing, actually. Um, oh sorry, also I, I, I just realized I didn't want to get rid of all my cards, but now I've just drawn a whole hand so I'm going to have to. I wanted to hold on to that finisher for points, I totally forgot. Oh well, I've drawn the cards and I showed the ones I got, so we're going to have to do with these. Well, there's no avoiding getting into them. I don't need to accumulate so we can hold on to that for defense. And accumulate is worth three defense, which is pretty good. She can discard for two. And we're not doing 12 damage this turn, but still. One, two, three. We'll get next to him. Actually, we might as well say she walked onto that square because she has more than enough movement. She has six movement. And anyway, I started blasting, I think. So we'll do double rapid shots, first of all, for a measly two damage. And we'll get rid of electrical boost to make one of those deal three damage instead. So that's four damage in total. Then we'll actually start our combo, I guess, with the good old low kick. And we'll push him and follow up. So the low kick, and then we'll go straight to a high kick, push him. I should be facing the same way as he was before because he doesn't turn yet until his turn. A high kick, and then an axe kick for two damage. So in total, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eight damage of his 12. Not bad. And that was a five combo. So we score two, putting us at 29. Oh hey, you can just see the marker finally. And maxed out our Devil Heart as well, unless we're about to get hit. We have two cards for defense. Let's just immediately see what he's doing. Move four towards the nearest hunter. We just got exceptionally lucky. He's just gonna turn on the spot so his front arc is facing her and then do nothing. So there's exactly five cards left in the draw pile. What happens if you do run out is you just shuffle and start again, but these are the, whoop, the final five cards. Okay, so there's a potential for a blue combo or a reasonably high damage red combo. We're gonna just wanna kill him. So we'll just get started. There's one rapid shot for one damage. Let's do another rapid shot for two damage. Let's do a low kick, high kick. And then, I'm not bothering moving him just because he's stuck in a corner anyway. And then, axe kick, and then, uppercut. Now, how much damage is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he had five, six, seven, eight. That takes him to 16. That's actually too much. He has 12 health, so hang on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah, 12. He died there. And as far as I'm aware, he can't keep going. So that's just a four piece combo to kill him, unfortunately. That does put her bang on 30 which is the age she pretends to be. He is dead. The green orb is going to fall onto Trish along with uh, one red orb. So we'll just take one from there to save me looking at another one. Green orb heals for three. So she's back to full health. She's going to turn and face the middle because a boss is about to appear there. And actually before I tidy this all up, I'm going to remove the achievements that are now no longer achievable on a boss as well. And I need to mix in the boss related ones too, I think. So we'll do that in a second. Just get rid of all these. But first, let us see whom we are fighting. Virgil! We are fighting Virgil! Set up Virgil so that he is facing the nearest hunter. 
Okay, and then we draw six achievement cards, but we can have, I have to sort the decks. You have to get rid of all the ones with the skull. So I've set up the achievements that are gettable of the ones that are left up at the top as well as done some shopping. So defensive fighter, dodge at least four damage. Stylish fighter, have six cards in your combo. Have eight cards in your combo for style master. Style overlord, have ten. And then obviously demon slayer has to be there for the boss as well. And that has also led me to believe I've been doing a real wrong this entire time. And I don't mean this video, I mean in general. Also thanks to Trish's evade card, which you buy for three. Discard this card when you take damage. You do not need to clear your combo chain. I was under the impression you had to claim your combo within your turn. As it turns out, you don't. You can leave it in action as long as you remember where it left off. And assuming you don't take damage during an enemy turn, your combo keeps going. If you get if you take damage, the combo's gone and you can't bank it. But there is a risk reward. Now, the problem with that is already done two matches of this where I did not do that. It should have been obvious because there's literally no way to get to 10 combo unless you do it across multiple turns. The, you, at most you can play 9 cards. So, so it should have been obvious that something was being done wrong, but it's too late now. And in order to be fair to the Nero and Dante playthroughs, I'm going to keep playing as is, but yes, that has been done incorrectly. You can choose not to bank, apparently, it seems. Because otherwise that card and having one for 10 cards makes no sense. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep on playing that you have to bank in a turn with however much you have, rather than keep going. It makes sense that you can keep going now that I think about it. Apologies, but in order to be fair for the characters left and the characters that have gone, although Trish is nowhere near the score of Dante or Nero, because she's been killing too efficiently. Um, so maybe it would be fair. We'll, we'll give it a go. That's why I bought the card. We'll give it a go. If she keeps her chain going, she risks losing it if Virgil damages her. Fair enough. Speaking of which, we'll get Virgil set up and then we'll take a look at his card and get started. Also, I'm going to be swapping out into Devil Trigger Trish because she is immediately going to go ham on him. Alright, Devil Trigger Trish is on the table as is Virgil. And this is his stat, stat card. For a solo play, he has 25 HP. Virgil cannot be stunned. Reduce each damage attack done to him by one damage to a minimum of one. When he is slain, follow the steps on the Devil Trigger card. He goes full... Devil Trigger form, Sin Devil Trigger form, sorry, when you kill him once, so he doesn't really have 25 HP. Is the gist. So, Trish's first turn, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the Devil Trigger pile. Uh, put that up there. Ooh, wow. I didn't think she had a card that did more than 5 damage. I put those achievements away thinking it was impossible. As it turned, divide the damage between the target and any enemies adjacent to it. Wow! Okay, I'm going to have to look one of those out again, because she's been doing really bad with achievements earned. She could totally have earned one of the ones I discarded just because I didn't think it was possible. She can also do a really good red combo, but it would leave her nothing with defense. In her Devil Trigger form, she moves six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to go behind Virgil. Teleports behind you, nothing personnel. And start blasting. And see how much damage. So I'm going to have to reduce any damage done by one each time, so let's just do the combo. So divider. You get a style point for using that. Then, we want a red combo. Sparda Slice, which would do three. We'll shove him and follow. And then, ooh, let's do the Inazuma from the Devil Trigger form. Move up to three hexes. We don't need to. That's just three damage, doesn't score anything. Then we'll do the Sparda Swing. And that scores a style point just for using it. So we're at 32. Then, oh, it would also push him. He can't be stunned, so I'm not going to bother putting stun icons down. But we are then going to do two Sparta thrusts in a row. And each of them do four damage. Boom, boom. And then we're going to finish with maximum overdrive. Okay. Now, hang on, does that do style? No, that's just divide, you don't get any extra style points. So, adding all this up, but subtracting one from each damage. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. She just did 24 damage, uh, sorry, 23 damage. Because that last one takes less damage as well. So she left him on 2 HP, which is good. Although the downside is obviously she didn't finish him off. 
but she did however I will score one of the combos for doing at least five damage in a single hit uh, I'll look at the achievement card again and score it because it was in play in the previous level that is a combo of one two three four five six seven cards seven cards is four one two three four she's at 36 the devil trigger gauge goes down by two she has nothing for defense is there anything else I need to do? Claim up here if you dodge at least 4 damage, nope. 6 cards in your combo? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Can't get the Style Master. Okay, she scored Stylish Fire and whatever the one's called for dealing more than 5 damage in a single hit. Let's go straight to Virgil before I tidy these away. The Hunter phase ends. Hunters within 3 hexes... wait. I believe this is the one you do only after he's dead, so ignore that for now. <laughs> I didn't realise that was in the deck, I, was, I just shuffled them. Side trick, remove Virgil from the game board then set him up anywhere that's within 3 hexes of the hunter with the most style points facing the hunter. Remove 5 damage from Virgil, draw another card. We're not removing damage, because that is purely for if you're playing multiplayer in my opinion. Yamoto combo, hunters adjacent to Virgil are knocked back 3 hexes, move Virgil 5 hexes, well hang on, 1, 2, 3, then he follows you. Perform the above instructions two additional times? Are you kidding? That would be enough to kill her. Hunters adjacent to Virgil knock back three hexes. Move Virgil five hexes towards the nearest hunter and make this attack. Perform the instructions above two additional times. Yeah, that's just going to kill her. Also, I think her devil... I don't know if the, when you've activated the devil trigger if it goes down from you receiving damage or not. But either way, that's going to be... 3 damage, 3 damage, and then 3 damage, so he one shot sure. Well, he technically 3 shot sure, but in one action. So her devil trigger form immediately ends. She goes back down to the... Well, she's lucky she just got into the A rank. She goes back down to 25, which is the start of the B rank. And should have killed him in one turn. That's what we learned there. Well, that could have gone better. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like that attack is not balanced for if you're doing solo mode, personally, but it's just me. So she's easily going to get him to next form, is the thing. So we might as well just do that. We'll place these. Do rapid shots. Wait, he only had two health left, right? 23. Yeah, okay. Collider, round trip, boom. He goes down, devil trigger immediately triggers. The Hunter phase ends. Hunters within three of Virgil are knocked back three. One, two, three. Replace his model with the Sin Devil Trigger form. Here it is here. It's pretty awesome looking. Also this damage goes away. And I guess one of his hexes would have to be occupied before he was. So let's just do it like that. Well actually, I guess he would be facing like that. Maybe? Yeah, that's still the hex he was in. Replace his enemy card with the behavior cards, etc. for his Sin Devil Trigger form. Shuffle the new behavior deck and begin the enemy phase. Well, hey, at least she has three for defense. Actually, you know what? Let's say I use the rapid shots from our basic attack, so I have even more for defense, because this guy is annoying. So on his Devil Trigger form, he also has 25 health. If you're solo, he cannot be stunned, and any damage he takes is reduced by two to a minimum of one, so he's tanky, annoyingly. And it's his turn. I've already shuffled his deck. Air trick. Remove him from the game board, set him up with the hunter with the most style points in the center of his front arc, then make this attack. Perform the above instructions one additional time. This guy is not made for... <laughs> not made for soul. So he teleports there, and then he does 10 damage technically across two attacks. That counters one with a dodge. And then that counters four with the other, so she takes one. Pretty nasty though. Very nasty, in fact. And uh, it's back over to Trish's turn. Two, three, four, five. Let's just get this going. I think uh, Trish's final score is going to be ten. Okay. Well, all right, we're going to evade. That evades his one attack, but most of his cards seem to have multi-attack, so... Do we go for blue or do we go for red? Well, we can attack and run for a start. So, we'll start with rapid shots. And then we'll go to another rapid shots. And again, it's, it's reduced by two to a minimum of one. Essentially, we have to hit him 25 times, more or less. 
And then we'll go low kick, high kick, pushing him back twice, following up twice, and then, oh, then what we'll do, we'll do uppercut, again he's some invincible to stun so it's irrelevant, and then we'll do a handspring which is one of the cards I bought, move up to three hexes after making the attack. So technically I don't need to end that combo but I'm gonna because I want to bank it for points. We're keeping the evade for defense and a lightning kick. And we're allowed to move three plus our normal move as well. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, is it six on our health to set? Yeah, six on our non devil trigger side. She's gonna hide right there next to the skull, weeping to herself. Now, for a six card combo, she did score three points. One, two, three, that's her back at 20, 28. And her devil trigger gauge will go up by. Two for that? Uh, no, it needs to be a seven. Okay, um, we'll just go straight to Virgil's turn if I get these basic cards out of the way and put others in the discard pile. We have two for defense. If I don't have to use the red card for defense, I'm going to hold on to it for the hopes of doing a red combo because I, I feel like her red combos are damaging, like really damaging ones. Did I? I didn't even dam. I didn't add up the damage there. Uh, I didn't do any cards that did three. <laughs> And I did six cards. I'm double checking. No. Oh wait, no, I didn't do 100 kicks. Okay. I used six cards, they all did one damage. He took six damage. It would help if I remember to damage the boss that I'm fighting. <laughs> Five damage, and he is doing Judgment Cut. Move him four hexes towards the nearest hunter, make this attack. If a hunter is hit, other hunters adjacent suffer four damage. Perform the above instructions one additional time. I feel like for Solo, had I known his... I didn't look at his AI deck before starting this. I would ignore every instance of additional times. Because that's for multiple people again, I feel. But it's too late now. Trish has already suffered. Four hexes. So he has to turn one. Two. Three. Four. Towards the nearest hunter. Uh, perform the above instructions additional time. One, two, three, four. He is exactly one square too far away to initiate, so at least he doesn't do anything to her, but yeah. Trish is going to hold on to both her cards, so she's only drawing three. Because I want that evade, and I want a red combo. Accumulate Thunder Blow on a hook. Uh, she'll discard that to gain two levels on the Devil Trigger. That puts her one away from activating it. And then... Let's see here. Again, everything is being reduced by one, so again, you've just got to hit him. You've got to hit him a lot of times. So go one, two, three, four, five. Attack him from behind and start comboing for one damage. <laughs> Rapid shots, followed by. Let's go red, I guess. Overdrive. Yeah, it doesn't matter because it's all reduced. Lightning kick. Thunder blow. That's the best you can do. So that involves a bunch of uh, before making, before making. Yeah, so she can't move. She keeps the evade and the hook for defense. She did a four combo for one. That is just enough to give her a devil trigger proc. And Virgil takes one, two, three, four damage. Four damage. On top of six, he's at ten. Joy, oh joy, he is scary and not balanced for one person. <laughs> That's all, yeah, we're banking that combo. Obviously. Summon swords, devil trigger Virgil makes this attack, then move him three hexes away from the nearest hunter, perform the above instructions three additional times. Three additional times. So he's doing this attack four times in total for eight damage. That's, uh, that doesn't seem fair at all. To the point where I'm just going to ignore the additional times part. That's, that's literally not fair. We shall uh, discard the evade to avoid the damage. He'll move away for three. One, two, three, I guess. Like how you, that's more health than all the characters have. They'd have to, I guess maybe they want you to do a long fight against him. Like you're supposed to keep four of your cards that have got high evade damage. No, but even then that's eight damage. That's stupid. 
They did not. Uh, it's a, a common thing with the Tomahawk games. They don't balance their expansion packs. So we're going to ignore the additional times because that's stupid. Trish has suffered enough. We're going to move on to her next turn. So we're going to hold on to the hook, and that means we draw four. One, two, three. Well, actually, I could also devil trigger. Hmm. No, we'll we'll try and hold on and devil trigger next turn. And hope for the best as the cards go everywhere. What did she draw? Oh, good. Okay, we've got a couple of blue cards. Interrupt is going to be used for defense and nothing else. One, two, three. She's just going to come into him right there and say, I don't like you. One damage. Two damage. Three damage. And then four damage. Five damage. Six damage. Because it all gets reduced by two. Keeping a rolling thunder and an interrupt for defense, which is not going to be enough, but still. That's a six combo for three. One, two, three. If she can get back into the eight, it won't be so bad if she dies again. And a six combo is one more on the board. The devil trigger board, that is. And is there anything else to do? Yes, the actual damage. Six damage. He's at 16 of 25. And now he's going to obliterate her as revenge. Remove him from the board, set him up anywhere that's within three of the nearest hunter, remove five damage, draw another card. Not removing damage, but he will teleport behind her. Take your damage with you, good sir. Draw another card. Each hunter suffers five damage. Remove him from the game board, set him up anywhere within three, facing the nearest hunter. Shuffle this card. Five damage, reduced by two. So she takes three. And goes down one level of Devil Trigger again. She is going to activate Devil Trigger still as we draw new cards. So we've got Devil Trigger Trish back on the field. I don't remember if she dodged with the evade four damage. I believe it was two damage four times so that doesn't count for defensive fire. Anywho, one, two, three, four, five on her Devil Trigger deck. Her basic Devil Trigger cards are in play as well. So we've got Collider, Sparta Cut. Okay, we want to do a red combo for sure with a finisher. Um, do we get any movement? We looked at two X's before doing this attack. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's see. Do we want to move now? No, we'll just combo straight into his face. <laughs> so we use Divider, that gives us one style point. We go straight into. Let's do Collider. So that's two more, obviously, it gets reduced to one. But it also says you choose an enemy in your front arc and they suffer four. Presumably that also comes down. But whatever. Then we'll do a Spartan Slice. Followed by a Spartan Cut. Followed by a Spartan Cut. Followed by a Finisher with a Sparta... I was saying Spartan there, not Sparta. A Sparta Burst. Move two hexes before making this attack. Each enemy adjacent to a target. Oh, that doesn't matter. Claim your combo if you do, score double style points for a Sparta Burst. Not leaving her much for defense, but she also hasn't moved. So that, first of all, is a six combo, but you double your points, so six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. That means she won't drop below 25 if she dies again, so that's good. So that is one, two, three, four from the bonus. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. She did 12 damage. So let's just, before I forget, that's 12 damage. So he has actually died already. Good. What would he have drawn, just out of curiosity? Would he have killed her? Yeah, he just would have killed her from the status of taking 5 damage. Good, okay, perfect. Get out of here, you suck. She is claiming Demon Slayer for defeating the boss. And we're never doing that boss again because it is not balanced for solo. She didn't get the other challenges. So we'll be back with her final score. So unfortunately due to the, the boss draw I feel, and also just that she kills a bit too quickly, Trish got the, the bad end of the stick there, but she scored Stylish Fighter twice. She scored Mighty Hunter, that's the one for doing more than 7 damage in a hit because she did 10. And then you get 10 for being the one to kill the boss. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So unfortunately, that puts her on a poultry 58. 
Nero was able to get to 69 despite dying once as well but again that was just that that boss hmm so anyway next time you have a choice between Lady and V so let me know in the comments who you would like to see run another attempt at this uh, there's only one boss left to try so I guess I'll I'll make sure that whoever it is next time gets to try Urzen and then whoever goes last will have a randomized selection of the bosses that feel fair for a solo attempt but yeah I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and see you next time for some more Devil May Cry. Ta-ta for now.